guys! Today I am going to show you how to do a typical 40s brush out hairstyle, the typical iconic 40s waves. And I'm going to show you how to do it on longer hair and I'm going to use a little bit of a cheat method and use a curling iron instead of your traditional set of pin curls that have to rest overnight. So you can see the finished result on my hair right now and to learn this I watched a YouTube video by a lovely lady here on YouTube. I will put the uh, links to her videos in the description, kind of how I taught myself how to do a uh, 40s brush out. But I am going to use a little bit of a different method today that is just a little bit quicker, a little bit less authentic to be honest, but still gives really nice results and I have a little bit longer hair than your typical 40s um, haircut would have been. So if you want to know how to do this then definitely keep on watching. I am going to begin by sectioning my hair properly. So I am going to make a quite a deep side parting. Like this. And comb all my hair to the side. And then I am going to make another parting. From here going all the way down to my ear. Same thing on this side. And now all of the hair that I have in the back, I'm just going to clip away for now. I'm going to start working on the front. I'll just get this out of the way. And now I'm going to continue sectioning and I'm going to make uh, sections around this wide all the way down to my ear. And then I'm going to just pin these back for now. And then come back to work on those later. And now since my hair is pretty thin, this one I'm just going to leave as one so that I get at least somewhat substantial of a curl. So moving on, I am going to use this heat activated setting spray. And this is going to make sure my hair sets into a, a good curl that will hold. So I am going to spray my hair with this. Just spritz it. And now is the part where I start to cheat. Because I'm going to use a curling iron. This is just um, a lot quicker than setting your hair in pink curls overnight or under one of those kind of hair dryer thingies, which I don't even have by the way, so this is just a lot easier for me. So I'm going to take a 19mm curling iron here. You want quite a small one for uh, pink curls. So what I'm going to do with this is curl my hair towards my face. Like that. And now I'm curling my hair and activating the setting lotion. So then I'm going to slide the iron out of my hair. And I'm going to pinch the curl. Like that. And I am going to pin this to my head. Like a pin curl. Like that. Alright, so time to take the next section of hair. And this section I'm going to divide into two and make two pink curls out of this. So starting with the back one. All right, so now the front one. Now, of course, I do have bangs, so I'm going to have to make a little bit more of an effort to incorporate those into my curl. But I'm pretty sure it's doable. Alright, so this is what I'm going to continue doing with these two sections as well and then I'll be back. All of this section is done now, so I'm going to move on to the other side. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So start by sectioning everything off. Again, quite wide sections. Of course there's less on this side. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do two. So everything else is exactly the same. I'm even going to curl my hair in the same direction. So this time I'm going to curl away from my face rather than towards it. In fact, I'm going to curl all of my hair in the same direction. So all of the back of my hair is going to be curled in this direction as well. And that's just really going to help later when we do the brush out. Front is done, so now I'm going to move on to the back of my hair. I'm going to let out all of this hair and I'm going to do 
the exact same thing. I'm going to work in rows on the back of my head, so I'm gonna start here and just work my way down and I'm going to curl my hair, pinch the curl, pin it to my head and leave it to set like that. Oh and this time I'm going to work from the top down, it's just a little bit easier and with the first few curls that you make you'll want to make sure that you don't curl all the way to your roots, you want to leave a couple of centimeters before you start your curl. Alright, so I'm going to pin it right here. to the next one. All of my hair is now pin curled. It took a while, I'll be honest. <laughs> this is not something you do quickly, but still the curling iron should save you some time. So I am now going to wait for as long as I can to allow this to cool down and completely set into these curls. I think I'm gonna take an hour or two maybe. If you don't have that much time then at least wait until everything is completely cooled down. Do give it at least 15 or 30 minutes. Again, the longer the better. So I'm gonna allow this to set for a little bit and then I will be back show you the rest of the hairstyle. It has been a while since I last checked in, so it is now time to move on to the actual brush out. So I'm going to start by removing my pin curls and letting everything down and hoping it has set. Yeah, that looks all right. <laughs> so I'm just going to start on the bottom and work my way up. That's just the easiest way to do this. Alright, so it's looking good so far. This is how we want it to look and I am very happy to see my hair has gotten quite a lot shorter through the curling process. So now I am going to take a very dense brush. I'm using my border bristle brush here and I am going to start brushing my hair out and the first step is to just make everything combine together. So I'm going to brush the back part so everything is behind my parting. Just back like that, smooth it out and here where my parting is I'm going to brush sideways and then just brush everything together maybe this is a little bit easier if you run your fingers through your hair first to separate the curls a little bit before you start brushing them Okay, so my ultimate goal now is to make all of my hair combine together into one big curl. And this is just going to take a lot of brushing, a lot of manipulating the curls and trying to get them to stick together. So let me just take my front section here. I'm very glad my bangs have incorporated into this nicely. So my hair is a little bit longer than your typical 40s haircut would have been. So it's going to take a little bit more work for me to make all of my hair um, turn under really nicely. But I'm gonna try and make this work anyway. Because I want a 40s hairstyle. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see we are definitely getting somewhere. I'm thinking now I should have curled this bit towards the outside rather than towards the inside. I think that was a mistake, but other than that, the brushing is working. So what really helps is to kind of gradually move your hand down as you keep brushing this, and that way you kind of get those waves with that 
uh, lower bit turned inwards. The back of my hair has combined nicely, so I'm just going to tweak it a little bit more. Okay, I am quite happy with the way it is looking now. Like I mentioned, it's a little bit longer than the typical 40s hairstyle and I am definitely sure I should have curled this outward. But other than that, I am happy. So I am going to take a comb, not a combing comb, but one of these. And I am just going to use that to clip back this side of my hair. So I am just going to push it in right here behind my ear. And this is something that was done a lot back then. And then I'm just going to take some hairspray, spray everything down, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Make sure to spray underneath the hair as well, it's really important for that uh, curl that we've just spent so much time and effort brushing under. And there it is! I am very happy to say we have successfully recreated a 40s hairstyle on longer hair, using a curling iron, no overnight waiting for hours and hours and hours, so yeah, I am very happy. Let's take a look at the finished results one more time. So do let me know what you think. I know some of you guys who watch my videos are complete experts on historic hair styling. So if you have any tips for me other than the curling thing, do let me know in the comments. So I will be able to improve and maybe get back to you later with more 40s brush out hair tutorials. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking here or on the red button below. There is another video here that you may also enjoy, you can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!